The Trojan Horse The story has it, in the year 1184 BC, the war between Greece and Troy was getting more and more intense and yet to decide the winner. The reason stems from the Prince of Paris. When Agamemnon was away from home, the prince brought the army to take Helen, Agamemnon's wife, away. After the king returned, he was extremely angry when he found out his wife was kidnapped. Therefore, he was determined to lead the army to attack Troy, take Helen back, and regain his dignity. The Trojan War was not simply a war between two people. It was also a competition among gods. On the top of Mount Olympus, the gods divided into two sides that sided with the two sides of the war. So the war that had been going on for more than ten years hadn't ended yet. Nearly ten years of fighting have passed. We have yet to decide the winner between us and Troy. Food is running out. Soldiers are exhausted. Their morale is not as high as before. Yes, ten years on the battlefield. Everyone could not stand it anymore. Citadel of Troy is still standing firm. Nothing devastated at all. In this war, we've lost too much. Citadel of Troy is too firm. Supported by neighboring countries and protected by the gods as well. Although our Greek army is very skillful, I'm afraid that we will be unable to win. We even stole the statue of Palladium, the guardian of Troy. But things haven't been any better. Our armies to attack four gates weren't enough. We've tried many ways, but still couldn't break into the citadel. It seems that the citadel of Troy should be taken down from the inside. That is, to make it easier to defeat the four sides of the citadel. Then, we will stand a chance to defeat Troy when attacked from the inside to the outside. We were in a bad position. The enemy is strong and hungry for victory. We are lucky to be alive. How do we break them from the inside? This method is good, but difficult to apply. But we have no choice. Our military will is weakening. Food is also about to run out. Extending the battle for one day more only drains out their strength and willpower. Now the army of Troy is just waiting for us to charge at their line to destroy us all. We need to take advantage of their plan and make a decisive blow. Otherwise, the war will never end. Troy is on the verge of victory. The more they win, the more they will neglect. Let's take that as their weakness. The next day, Odysseus ordered the soldiers to take the finest chunks of warship wood to build a giant wooden horse. What is this wooden horse for? Odysseus? These wood should be used to build war boats. What a waste! Do you see that the belly is empty? That's the point. Now, we burn all our camps, sail all the boats away, sail to Tenedus, and wait there. Odysseus is crazy. That's no different from giving up. Will a ten-year-long war end that easily? If so, I will devote my life to this final battle without any hesitation. Has he thought of it carefully? We won't have the second chance. The Greeks surrendered. They accepted their failure. Really? Is it true that they gave up? It's true. They burned their camps. It is true that they're only ruins. They are no longer here to fight us anymore. It seemed that they were exhausted and worn out and had no choice but to withdraw. I thought they would decide to fight to the end. It seems that they are just cowards. Withdrawing is the right choice. They won't be able to defeat this solid citadel of Troy. But why is there such a giant wooden horse there? Quick, we must inform the king. So strange. What do they leave a giant horse here for? Search around immediately. Tell me if you find anything suspicious. If you find anyone suspicious, bring him here for me immediately. Yes, my king. My king, while searching, I found him. He was the only one left here. He is the only survivor in the Greek army. We found him while he was trying to run away from here, your majesty. It seems that he was left here and couldn't catch up with the remnants. Why did the Greeks retreat without you? Don't they care about your life or death? Or what are they planning? Quickly, tell me the situation. 
If you are honest, I can let you live. If you dare to lie, I will immediately punish you. Yes, Your Majesty. I was just a sacrifice left here by General Odysseus. I couldn't accept that, so I decided to escape from here. Please, leave me a life. Because now I also hate them, those who left me here to die. Sacrifice? What do you mean by that? Who did they leave this sacrifice to? Quickly, clarify it. We were tired after years of battles without any victory. We decided to retreat. Do you remember that the Greeks stole the statue of Palladium of Troy? We were punished by Athena, the goddess of wisdom. So Odysseus left me here as an offering to Athena. Therefore, Odysseus left me here to be a sacrifice, which is expected to please goddess Athena. What about this horse? Why did they leave this horse here for? It looks so suspicious. My king, I will not lie to you. This giant wooden horse is a great scheme of the Greeks. The goddess Athena forced the Greek to make another statue to make up for Troy. Therefore, they built this giant wooden horse. They made this horse to give back to Troy? That's unbelievable. Don't they always want to destroy our citadel of Troy? The words you say are unbelievable. Quickly, tell me the truth. I will spare your life to return to your homeland. Although they did not dare to disobey the goddess, they deliberately built a giant horse, which is bigger than the gate of Troy, so that it can never be brought inside. Just like that, Troy does not have a protective guardian. The Greeks can return to conquer again. Huh. So that arrogant Odysseus is determined to oppose me. That's insolent. If they deliberately made a wooden horse bigger than my own city so that I could not bring it into the city, I would have to bring it into Troy by all means. I have to show them that no force can overthrow this solid Troy. What does that mean? That means they played us. Everyone silent. Bring this horse inside the city now. And for the Greek soldier, spare his life because he told us the truth. As you wish. Wait, my king. Please, don't bring this horse in yet. I have a bad intuition about this giant horse. Please, withdraw your order to consider more carefully, your majesty. Why are you stopping me? Don't you see that they are threatening and challenging me, even though they are the loser? I cannot endure this disgrace. I will tell them that no one can make it difficult for me and my army. Please, do not bring anything of the enemy into the citadel. We have only heard about that giant horse from the enemy's words. We have no idea if he's lying or not. Moreover, the fact that they suddenly withdrew their troops is also unreasonable, your majesty. We cannot neglect and despise our enemies like that. Maybe this is a malicious strategy. Now the safety of the whole citadel is most important. Don't talk much. Can't you see that the Greeks have withdrawn all? Uprooted the boat and burned the barracks? What are you worried about? Even if they come back here, I'm not worried about anything. Even if they have a mighty army, they cannot break into my citadel. They are just remnants. What can they do to our firm citadel? But... All right, I have made my decision. Don't prevent me anymore. I know you are worried about the safety of Troy, but you seem to have been worrying too much. We have a skillful army, strong vigor, with a solid citadel. What can they do now? Men, find a way to drag that wooden horse in. This is the new guardian of the city that Athena gave us. No matter what, I will bring it into the citadel. We have to show the Greeks the strength of the people in Troy, so that they won't dare to attack us anymore. Oh my, it's too big. How can we bring it through the gate? My king, our gate is too small for this horse. We can't bring it in. Should we leave it outside? Insolent, you dare leave the guardian of the city outside? Sabotage the gate to make way for the horse. No matter what, I will bring it into the citadel. It will become the new guardian protecting the citadel of Troy. 
I hereby declare the Ten-Year War of Troy has come to an end, and victory is ours. Begin the feast to celebrate. I allow all soldiers to take off their armor and enjoy the party tonight. To the victory of us, of Troy. Let's get drunk tonight, everyone. While King Priam and his soldiers were celebrating their victory, the left Greek soldier stealthily took a torch to the shore, lit a big fire, and then stood in the courtyard, tapping the giant wooden horse's belly. Right after that, the Greek heroes and generals opened the wooden horse's belly one by one and jumped down. Odysseus also jumped down from the wooden horse's belly. Greek fleets of ships rushed to the coast, setting fire strongly. What is this? What's going on? Didn't the Greeks all flee to their home country? Why did they suddenly appear in my citadel? My king, it's not good. Troy has been surrounded. The Greeks came out of nowhere. They're everywhere in the city, killing and sabotaging. Oh my, it was that horse. I was too naive. I wish I had listened to Lacoon's advice. I wish I had listened to Prophet Lacoon's prevention. It's too late, Your Majesty. It is subjectivity that makes you make a big mistake. Now the Citadel of Troy has been defeated by me. You won't have another chance. So with a giant wooden horse filled with soldiers disguised as a gift, Greek army easily deceived the opponent who was subjective in the awe of victory. The horse of Troy was a trap that engulfed Troy people in a bitter defeat. This is also a lifelong lesson of vigilance left to this day for all of us.